I just found a brand new AI tool that's gonna completely change how you build and sell AI apps. It's basically like having Lovable, Supabase, and Netlify all rolled into one. Because instead of stopping a code or a UI like every other tool, this one builds your database, your backend, your front end, and even deploys it live to the web in just a few minutes. And here's the craziest part. This tool doesn't stop at just building your app. They also have an AI co-pilot that you can use to operate your app. And on top of that, you can publish it instantly to a marketplace and start making money from day one. By the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what this new AI tool is, how you could use it, and I'm gonna share with you five app ideas that if you take action on one of these, could make you over $10,000 a month. Now that brand new AI tool that I'm talking about is gonna be Zoware AI, and this right here is going to blow your mind. So, all you have to do is tell it exactly what your idea is. For example, I want to create an app that helps people track their GLP-1 shots. Now, that's just a very simple task that I am giving this right here. If I wanted to improve that, what I'm gonna do is come over here and click on Enhance Prompt right here. And what this is going to do is this is going to go through and build me out a real prompt. Because if you're going to build an app, you're going to build a website, you can't just give it something super simple like that. You have to give it a really good prompt like what this right here just automated. This shows that it should build a dashboard and a home page, a log injection page, an injection history page, a schedule management page, and if we come down here, a progress tracking page. So this gave us a lot more things that we needed to build. In addition to that, we could choose whether or not we want this to be public and anybody will be able to view and remix it, or if we want it to be private. I'm going to leave this as public right now. If we click on integrations right here, you can see that they actually have Zoar database, which allows you to store data in their secure database, which is way easier than you having to hook this up to an external database, which is where most people end up when they use an AI app with Zoar. You don't run into that issue. In addition to that, they also provide a unified login authentication service. So I'm gonna turn both of these on. Now, if we click right here, what we're gonna be able to do is upload five different images for what we want this to actually look like. And luckily, I've already gone through and kind of gotten this for myself. So if we X out here, we could see a GLP-1 right here. And basically what this is are a bunch of different images for what I want the app to look like and what I want the UI to look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload these five images into Zoar so that it knows what I want it to do. So we're going to come over here. We're going to click on this icon right here. Then from here, I'm going to change this over to desktop. I'm going to find this right here and I'm going to be able to upload all of these different images right here. And now we can give this to Zoar. Now what this is going to do is this is going to look at all this. This is going to look at the prompts. It's going to look at the UI that I gave it and it is going to come up with a plan for exactly how to build this app. So it goes through and says, great, I have a comprehensive understanding of this. It knows exactly what actually needs to be built out and this is going to go through and this is going to provide us with a plan. So here are the features. We have a user authentication and profile, dashboard and homepage, log injection page, injection history management, schedule management, progress tracking and analytics. We have a notification system. We have data privacy and security. So this actually realized that this is a health app. So the privacy is really going to matter. Knows what the primary color is here. Went through all of these different styles. Noted that it's going to be adding in these two different plugins. And then we're going to click on build app right here. Now what this is going to do is this is going to do what most other app builders will not do. This actually starts with authentication and it starts with database features before anything else, which is the most important part. So we could see right here, this is actually going through and this is building out the database because what a lot of other no-code tools do is they build out the front end and then they try to build the back end out and that actually ends up ruining everything. You need to build the back end first and then the front end and Zoar knows that, which is exactly why it goes through builds all of this out, and then it's going to build out the front end for us. Okay, so now that this is actually done, let's check this out. We can see that the database was built, a template was built, the code writing was completed, and we can see everything that this went through and this did. Now, if we need help with anything or we need to change anything, we could just come right over here and tell it exactly what we want to change. But we could see all the code right here. We could see the database right here and all the different tables that are going to exist here. Nobody has used the app yet, so nothing currently exists there, but you could see all the different headers and all of that jazz. We click on preview, we can see exactly 
what this app actually looks like. And we could come over here and see Zoar Copilot. Now this right here is our intelligent assistant that can help us complete various data queries, management, and any type of operational tasks that we need to do in order to actually have this app over here. For example, if we wanted to manipulate any type of app data, this is how we would do it. Now, for now, I'm not actually going to do anything with that, but I wanted to show you that we could come over into settings right here. We could change the name. We could give this app a description. We could see the app key, when it was created, when it was last updated. We could see whether or not it's actually live right now. We could change the visibility. We could change the price right here so we can set it to be free or 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, 100, or even $200. We can get rid of the Zower badge Personally, I'm gonna do that. And we can enable the built-in AI system to simplify app usage for both us and our users. I'm gonna keep that on. Now, from here, what we can do is come over here and we can actually deploy this into production right here, literally just by clicking up here and it's going to go ahead and actually deploy it. And then just like that, our site is going to be live on the internet right here. So we could come over here and let's actually test it out. We could come over here and I am trying this live for the first time. So we can see exactly what this looks like right here, which is very close to what I wanted and very close to what I actually designed. So I'm gonna come over here, I'm gonna log this in. I'm gonna put upper left. We're gonna do uh, 0.5 and I'm going to put felt really good. Say no side effects today. And then we're gonna click on save injection here. Okay, so that has actually gone through. We can now see that this all updated in real time. And then what we could do from here is we can come back into the chat and you're gonna see this published to community right here, which says ready to show this app to the public. And then we could go through and actually publish this. So this is now being published. And then what this is going to do is allow the community to review it. And then once it goes through community review, it'll be live for the community. And now if we come over here and click on community, we can see all of the other things that have already been created over here. And guess what? Some of these are paid, some of these are free, some of these are like $5, $100. If we scroll down, we could see more that are going to be paid for. And if we click onto any of these, we could do several different things. For example, we could open this in a new tab, we can share it, we can open it in Zoer if we wanted to, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna open this up in a new tab right here. And we can see all the other crazy websites that have been brought to life through Zoer, which is quite inspiring to be able to see all of these. And this right here is exactly how Zoer can actually begin to bring in money immediately once you've actually built out an app. As you can see, a lot of these in here are going to be paid and you could make yours paid. So you could begin to generate an income from your app literally straight from inside of this tool. We just went from one sentence to monetization in like literally like 10 or 15 minutes. If you're wondering how you actually get paid when somebody buys your app, you can come over here, you can click on view sales history, and this will show you whether or not you've gotten paid yet. As you can see, I haven't because I literally just published this app, but if I did, it would show up here, and then you could get paid out directly through Stripe. Now, before I give you those five app ideas that could make you over $10,000 a month if you take action and implement one of these, I wanted to remind you that you could go to the pinned comment below and try Zoar AI for yourself today. This is the only AI app builder that can take you from idea to monetization without leaving the tool. Okay, so app idea number one that I have here is an AI workout planner. For example, fitnessai.com. If we come over here, you can see that they built an app to get stronger with AI. Now, I know what you're thinking. Rob, if somebody else is already doing this, why would I then do this? And the reason that you would do this is because you need competition in business. This is something that not a lot of people realize. In fact, I want you to think about this. If you've ever been to a gas station, what's across the street? Another gas station. If you've been to a bank, what's across the street? another bank. A lot of things in business have already been thought of. So you're not competing on some brand new idea. Instead, you just need to steal some market share. And the way that you do that is by coming over, seeing what already exists and building a better version of it. And guess what? This is incredibly easy to do now with AI. You can feed this link in the ChatGPT and you can get an idea of how you could actually compete better than this. And then guess what? You take that, 
bring it over into Zoar AI, you can enhance the prompt, and it will actually go through and build you a better app. Now, idea number two is actually what I showed you in the video. It's going to be a GLP-1 tracking app. Now, the reason that I got this idea is actually because of Shotzi right here. Again, if we go through here, this allows you to track your GLP-1 journey. This is a huge niche but is a niche that is hidden in plain sight. There are millions of people taking GLP-1s across the world, and you could be one of the people that creates an app in order to compete with this one. Because right now, this is like the only app that's actually offered for this use case right here, and you could go in a perfect competition with this. And again, think about it. Nike wouldn't be Nike, if it wasn't for Adidas. Ferrari wouldn't be Ferrari if it wasn't for Lamborghini. Do not be scared of competing with other apps and with other businesses because Zoar is going to make it incredibly easy for you to not only build your app, but also be able to build on new features and build something your audience really loves. Now, idea number three is going to be a project estimator app. So if we come over here to this URL, what you're going to see this is, is it allows you to manage construction sites with ease. Essentially what we want to build is we want to build something where people can insert all of the different things that they're going to have to do on a job, for example, how big it is, what needs to be done, generate notes, and then have AI actually generate a contract and generate an estimate from this so that these individuals don't have to then go home, calculate all this stuff, and then send it off to the client. They could present it to the client immediately. Because I personally went through something like this when I was renovating my house, and it was a huge pain having to wait days or even weeks to hear back from the person when I knew that this could be done with AI incredibly easy on the spot. And then idea number four is going to be building a recipe app, but you want to make sure that it's specialized for a specific niche. For example, if we come over to this one right here, this one is specialized for keto. Now you would want to do it for something else. For example, gluten-free or maybe dairy-free, doesn't matter what it is, but basically it would be a recipe app where people can insert what they have to cook with or what ingredients they have, and then get a recipe based on that that fits their specialized niche when it comes to cooking. And then my last idea is building out an AI thumbnail generator similar to something like Virathumb, which allows you to get more clicks on YouTube. Now again, it doesn't matter what idea you have, but I would start with something like these five because these are markets that I know are ripe for disruption and I know there's a large audience for them. But essentially what you wanna do is find a niche idea, build out the apps with Zoar, begin to market them, and in no time, you're gonna be able to make money with AI. Now, if you enjoyed this video, I'd strongly suggest that you check out this video right here that walks you through Perplexity's new calendar and email assistant that I think you might enjoy. I'll see you over there.